Today we're going to create a multi-page PDF document in Photoshop. What I mean by this is over here I've got this mood board that I'm working on, which is a series of layers, and I want them all to be part of one PDF document from beginning to end. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got everything saved, because notice here I've got this one as a group rather than an individual layer. In order to do this, they do need to be individual layers. So I'm going to merge that into a layer. Now I've got my layers seen one through five, which is how I want it to be. You can move this around so scene one is at the top and scene five is at the bottom and in regards to the order that you want stuff to go in. But I'm going to leave it like this and I'll show you why here in just a second. So now that I've got it, I want to go to File, Export, Layers to Files. I'm going to choose the folder that I want to put it in. I've got a test folder here that I've set up for this. File type, I'm going to choose JPEG. You can do PDF as well. Um, I'm not sure why, I've just found JPEG seems to work a little better. And I'm going to set my quality to the maximum. Now I'm going to run this, and what you can see it's going to do here is it's going to go through and just batch process each layer into its own individual JPEG. Now if I go into that test folder, you can see here each one is a JPEG just like I want. Next up, because I want these to be one PDF, is I'm going to go back into Photoshop, File, Automate, PDF Presentation. I'm going to browse here and I'm going to select all of those images and open. Now notice here what it did here is the order that it put them in. It put them in scene 5 at the top and scene 1 at the bottom just like it is in my layers palette. But I actually want scene 1 to be the first page. So within here you can actually move this around as well. It doesn't, you don't just have to do it within, so you don't have to do it just within the layers palette. Okay, now I have it where I want it. I've got scene one is the first one, two, three, four, five. So that's the order that it's going to put them in when it creates the multi-page PDF. Under your output options, under save as, make sure multi-page document is selected. Leave everything else just as it is. Hit save. Now what I've done is I'm just naming it. Notice it's saving it as a multi-page PDF. Hit OK. Save your quality. Now it's just processing each of those into a single multi-page PDF. So notice here it's all kind of jumbled up. They're all on top of each other. But when I go in to that document and I select the PDF that I created, mood board, now we've got number one is the first page. That's what it looks like. And then it's going to go all the way down through page five. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So that's how it works. Um, it's not too overly difficult or complicated, but it's one of those things you probably don't do all that often. And when you do it, it does come in handy to know how to do this rather than uh, exporting each one as a PDF and trying to merge them within a PDF editor or that kind of stuff. It's just quick and easy to do it here in Photoshop. And this allows you to create multi-page documents that you can upload and use for whatever, whether you're creating a book out of it, um, a photo book, that kind of stuff. In my case, I'm creating a mood board for a short film. All right, hope you found that useful and have a good day.